Hey Libra, it's Dana. Deep Thoughts with Dana. Woohoo! This is your reading for October, only because y'all expect it to be stamped like that, but you could watch this reading in June of 2022 and have it still resonate with you, okay? This is from whenever it tingles to whenever it stops tingling for you, okay, Libra? There is no time frame on this reading. So, that being said, this is not your reading. This is a general reading for the collective sign of Libra. You may see yourself in this reading. You may identify with aspects of this reading, but I can assure you this is not your journey and this is not your reading, right? Everybody's journey and everybody's situation and circumstances are different. Perfect example. Lady called me the other day and um, she, she, we, she was watching general tarot card readings, right? Watching general tarot card readings and... Um, she just, she, she knew she was going to reunite and reconcile with somebody, right? She just felt it. She knew it. Somebody was coming back. Well, she reconnected, long story short, she reconnected with her high school sweetheart, right? She was like, yes, all these general readings I've been binge watching on YouTube. Um, they're on point. They're on point. They're on point. She reunites, uh, connect, reconnects with her high school sweetheart, sweetheart on Facebook. They go out for coffee. Lo and behold, he's happily married with a house full of kids, right? And um, she's devastated because there is no romantic anything happening between them, right? But she just knew that this was her story, um, but it's not. It wasn't, right? This isn't your story, Libra. And I got to tell you, um, binge watching YouTube tarot card readings, if you do that, is bad for your mental. Really, really bad for your mental. Please don't do that. It feeds false hope, okay? Feeds false hope because this is not your story, okay? All right. That being said, if you'd like a personal reading, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com, link in the box below, or please reach out to your favorite tarot card reader and get your cards read. Um, if you need clarification, confirmation, understanding, wisdom, or guidance, about any aspect of this reading. Okay. All right. Just want to say that I love it. I love you guys. I care about you guys and I don't want you to be bullshitted by the insane constant thing that goes on in the YouTube tarot card readings. Okay. I do this to give you guys a perspective about what's coming down the road. And as always, I urge you, urge you, urge you to get your cards read. Okay. Okay. All right. Libra. Libra, you're making me choke. Hold on. <coughs> so sorry, Libs. So sorry. Okay, Libra. The cards that we have here, now I'm using the root cards of the Thoth deck. They're different than, than regular old tarot. They are the mother of tarot. They're still tarot, but they're a little bit different, and I'll explain it as we go, and then I'm clarifying with the tarot Illuminati, okay? So the first card, card out for you, well, I'm just going to read this whole row here because the whole row makes sense without clarifying each and every card because we have a little story, a little backstory right here. So the first card out is swiftness, right? This is the eight of wands. This is movement, action, change. You need to do something swiftly. What do you need to do? You need to work something out with the three of discs called the works card, right? You need to work something out inside yourself, Libra. Because if you don't, you face failure. There is some kind of an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth, and it has to do with your personal belief system. Something about your personal belief system is a restriction that keeps you from growing. To the ace of discs. When you do, good shit's going to happen for you. Okay. What is all this clarified? So, need to take action. You need to work something out. If you don't, you face failure. Whatever it is that you have to work out has to do with your belief systems. And once you get this all worked out, there is um, the manifestation of new opportunities on the horizon. What's this all about? Well, I got this handy dandy little stack of cards here. Never ceases to amaze me. You know, they all fall out and they're all huge. And I'm like, oh, geez, you know, eight cards, really? But when you read through them, spirit's trying to get a story across, okay? So, this is the story. What do you need to take quick action? What do you need to take swift movement to work out or face failure? Well, this is what it's about. 
King of Pentacles says you're worried about appearances. King of Pentacles in reverse. Somehow, some way, you're worried about the way that you look to other people or how a situation looks to other people. To the High Priestess, because of this, you're disconnected from your intuition. To the Ten of Wands in reverse. This is uh, overwhelming, right? An overwhelming burden to bear. The Ten of Wands in reverse is also about avoiding responsibility. So, you know what? I retract. I retract. And I'm allowed to do that because I'm human, right? And I'm, I'm doing these cards on the fly with you, okay? So now I see some things that perhaps don't actually constitute um, an overwhelming burden. What this card is about is about avoiding responsibility, okay? So there is something you're worried about how you look to others or in a situation, right? To the high priestess, disconnected from your intuition, right? Avoiding this energy right there leads to avoiding responsibility. And it's not so much avoiding responsibility like you're hiding in the bathroom at work, okay? It's not about that or that you, you know, you go lock yourself in, in your home gym when you come home from work because you don't want to deal with the wife and kids or the husband and the kids for that matter. It's not about that kind of avoiding responsibility, which by the way, you shouldn't do, but who am I to say? So anyway, avoiding responsibility. This is about not stepping up to the plate. That's what this is about. And not stepping up to the plate. To the tower. There is some kind of something that's going to come into your place, into your space, <laughs> that is going to shine some light on some kind of shallowness in yourself, Libra. Some kind of, some kind of shallow something. We're going to figure this out, though. And it's about your beliefs. It's about what you believe. It's about, I really believe it's about your personal beliefs because we have the devil that's that, that, that is following these cards right here, right? Something about your beliefs. Something about what you believe is an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth. Something about the way that you will appear to others something about that it makes you disconnected from your intuition being that you know, you know, you know, Libra, you know, deep down inside, you know what this is. But you're disconnecting from the high priestess energy. You're disconnecting from your intuition because you don't want to face it. Because you're more concerned about what people think about you than what you believe. Okay? So a tower moment's going to happen for you. I don't know if it's upheaval and chaos or if it's just simply a revelation and an awakening, but we're going to work that out through this reading, right? But there's something that happens to you or, or in you that makes you reevaluate what it is that you believe about this situation or this person. Because with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, what you, what you believe has brought you limited reward. Limited profit and reward in the past. It's just not working for you, right? But for some reason, you keep doing the same thing over and over and over again because you care more about what people think about you than what it is that you feel in your heart. And the moon card. This tower moment is not only going to have you reevaluate your belief system, but it's also going to help you to release fear and deal with some kind of repressed emotion. The, the repressed emotion that has you and your fear that has you caring more about what other people think than the right thing to do. Okay? All of this leads to the Ace of Pentacles. When you get your belief system under control, and you release yourself from the attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth being your limiting belief system, Ace of Pentacles shows up and opens the door for the manifestation of brand new opportunities in the realm of security. Okay? What follows this is the Wheel of Fortune. This creates a turning point in your destiny, Libra. A turning point in your destiny. Pause.
All right. Second row, first card. The lovers. <laughs> this is either about a love situation, an individual. It's about choices and relationships. So whatever this is about, it's about a choice that you need to make in regards to some kind of important relationship in your life. Could be family, could be business, could be work, could be business partners, could be a love affair, right? A lover, right? To the ace of wands, inspired action, right? So once you come to terms with what it is that's holding you back right here, this attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth with this devil card, right? Whenever, whatever it is you come to terms with right here, you release the repressed emotions, you deal with the fear, right? Or release the fear, deal with the repressed emotions, right? Th this, this turning point in your destiny because of the release of the restriction of your personal growth, your thought, your beliefs, right? Um, you're going to take inspired action towards some kind of values alignment in an important relationship in your life. Princess of Swords says you're putting the wood to some thought, right? Putting the wood to some thought could be potentially reaching out with a little bit of communication. Um, I don't see you reaching out. Actually, I, I think this card is about you putting the wood to the fire and formulating a thought pattern as to by which you will reach out, right? To the Queen of Cups, in the center of your reading, your feelings, the way that you feel, right? Could this Queen of Cups be somebody, actual, a, a character in this whole thing? Maybe. Maybe you're reaching out to the Queen of Cups. But I'm going to stick with your feelings, your feelings in the center of the reading, because we have a massive transformation of the way that you feel about certain things in your life in this top row, right? So feelings in the center of your reading, right? So you're formulating a thought pattern and it has to do with your feelings, right? These cards are clarified by the Four of Swords in reverse. You're restless, mentally restless when it comes to your feelings. The Five of Cups, you're tired of loss, regret, despair, disappointment. You're, you're, you're tired of it because these limiting beliefs up here keep you in a state of loss, regret, despair, and disappointment because you're not being true to yourself. I got to tell you, Libra, the number one rule in life, and I will stand by this till the day I die, the number one rule in life. Listen, if you cannot be true to yourself, you cannot be true to anybody. You can't. You can't be true to anybody if you can't be true to yourself. And that's the revelation of this tower moment right here. This is the revelation of this tower moment is that you have to be true to yourself before you can be true to anybody. And the revelation, the epiphany, the awakening, God forbid it's some kind of upheaval and chaos that smacks you in the head, right, is that you have to be true to yourself. That's why you reevaluate your belief system in this whole top row, right? Four of Swords, you're restless. You burn out, lack of progress, right? Not, not, it's just not working for you the way that you used to be, the way that you used to think. It's just not working for you. You're tired of loss, regret, despair, and disappointment, right? Why do I have this devil in my hand? That goes up here, <laughs> right? tired of it all to the five of swords in reverse. This is being open to change, right? You want change. You want to change in the way that things are going, right? You want a, an alignment, a values alignment in an important relationship or some kind of choice in that has to do with something that's really important to you, right? Open to change. Look, this is followed by science. This is a card about having absolute irrefutable knowledge. Irrefutable. You cannot say it was a misunderstanding. 
You cannot claim ignorance or stupidity because you know that you know that you know this card. What is this about right here? What is this about? This science card is about your revelation and your awakening because now you know in your soul, in your belief system, that you have to be true to yourself. That you absolutely have to be true to yourself. You've had an awakening, and that's the sucky part about having awakenings, revelations, being spiritually enlightened, enlightened growing, right, from a spiritual perspective, um, is that once you know, you can't go back right? That's like, that's like, it's like um, lying or stealing. Let's go stealing, okay? Because lying's a little easy to do. Let's do stealing, right? As a kid, you might lift a candy bar or, or some gum or something, right? And then, and then your mama or your grandma or your daddy or whatever catches you and they give you the big lecture about stealing, right? And make you take it back to the store. But now you know, now you know that stealing is wrong, right? So every time you maybe think about lifting another gumball, now you know, and you don't, right? Most people, right? And you don't do it. You don't steal anymore because now you know it's wrong. It's the same thing with this science card. Now you know that you cannot be true to anybody or anything else until you're true to yourself because you've reevaluated your belief system and you have let go of attachments that are restrictions to your personal growth. The attachment being your limiting beliefs. Okay? The Prince of Discs, the Page of Pentacles. You're going to manifest. You're going to manifest to the Prince of Swords in reverse with a disregard for consequences because now you're not afraid anymore of what people think about you. You're not afraid of what other people think. You're not worried about appearances anymore, right? Now you're, you're not going to avoid the responsibility of doing what you need to do based on what other people think. Now you are no longer detached from your intuition. Now you're on point and you're doing what you know that you know that you know needs to be done. And that's being true to yourself. Fuck everybody else. You be true to yourself. That's what's going on here. You're going to manifest with a disregard for consequences. You're like, you know what? Let the cards fall where they may. I am doing what I know I need to do. Libra. Right on. Right on. The princess of discs, right? Same energy. Manifesting, right? To the hangman in reverse. No longer are you resistant and stalling. You're manifesting now. You're manifesting. What is manifesting? Right? It's doing the things that need to be done to create what you want to create in your life. And I will argue to my death that manifesting is way more than putting up your poster board and having all of these awesome things that you achieve, that you, that you strive to achieve, right? And that's all awesome. I'm not, that's great. That's awesome. Amazing. I have it on my computer. Every time I open my computer, I see my farmhouse and the land that I want, right? That is my goal. But it's my ultimate life goal is to retire in a nice little piece of, on a nice little piece of land, mama cats running around, some horses in the back, right? Because I'm a horse girl. I'm an equestrian. I've had horses all my life. I don't know, but I'm a horse girl, right? And once a horse girl, always a horse girl. And if there's any equestrians out there, you will testify to that. It's in your blood, right? So my ultimate goal is to is to get a little spread. I don't want huge. I don't need a big old house, but that's just me, right? I'm actually a, quite a modest person. I like to live lean. I like nice. I like luxurious Taurus, but I like lean. I'm a very frugal person, very frugal person, right? This cup of coffee, 
three bucks. You know how long I thought about going to get this cup of coffee this morning? Because I don't have any cream, right? I'm out of cream. I have coffee, but I'm out of cream and I could drink it black, right? And I toss between my head. Do I go get a $3 cup of coffee? And can I afford it? Hell yeah, I can afford it. <laughs> of course I can afford it. But frugal. I don't know where the hell I was going with it. Oh, the storyboard, right? So manifesting, manifesting, sorry, manifesting. So you are manifesting this into your life, right? Manifesting it into your life. And that is taking the inspiration as the trigger, right? Following it up with the mental, planning, thinking about it, doing due diligence to prepare yourself to proceed with the passion that is the trigger of the fire energy, right? Fire energy is the trigger. The mental is the preparation for it, right? And then you have um, the water energy. That is, you, you consume it, right? You consume it. You learn all you can about it. You, you, if, and if it's, if it's a, if it's a, it's a, you learn all you can about it, right? And you consume it. <clears throat> and then you have the earth energy, which is actually doing it, actually doing it, right? And that's what you're doing here. You are preparing to bring this relationship, situationship, this choice with the lover's card. You are preparing, look, the ace of wands, the trigger, right? The passionate trigger, the fire trigger. You are preparing to manifest this into your life. And that's what you're doing. No more resistance installing. To the princess of wands, right? This is about enthusiasm, discovery, knowledge. It's about, it's about being enthusiastic to, to, to manifest. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, right? It's about being super excited to manifest, right? It brings you an immense amount of pleasure with the six of cups an immense amount of pleasure that you have come to these terms in your life, Libra. An immense amount of pleasure. You are so satisfied. You are um, walking tall and stepping high because you're very, very um, satisfied with the progress that you've made in this situation by releasing your limiting beliefs right? By, be, by detaching yourself from an attachment that was a restriction to your personal growth, growth being your limiting beliefs. To the Prince of Swords, right? This um, is, is, is formulating, right? Formulating how you're going to work all of this out, right? To love. Two of Cups, love. Are we talking about a love relationship? Maybe. We're definitely talking about a very important relationship in your life. Family, home, work, lovers, your dog, <laughs> whatever it is, you, you love the, you're manifesting love into your life. All three of these cards, pleasure, the Prince of Swords, and love are crossed by the Empress. This is the card of Libra. It's the card of Taurus as well. Could you be dealing with another Libra? Yeah. Could you be dealing with a Taurus? Yeah. Could you be dealing with somebody that is embodying the, what, how you idealize them as the Empress? Yeah. But I really think this is you standing in your power. You got your mental in check. You got your passion in check. You got your feels in check. And you have your security in check. You have check, 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 check. You're ready to go, Libra. You have it all together. You've come through a massive transformation and now you're ready to execute. Now you're ready to execute. Remember, it's a turning point in your destiny. Each and every one of these cards is a mental, physical, or emotional process. And you've processed all of it and you've gone through all of it, right? And now you're ready because you're showing up as the empress, right? All the elements in check, mental, check. Security, check. Emotions, check. Passions, check. The culmination of all four queens. You're ready to go. Male, female, it don't matter. It don't matter. You're ready to go. You are in your power. What are you going to do? You're going to manifest that shit. You're going to manifest it. You're going to bring it into your life. You are going to manifest it. 
That's beautiful, Libra. If we even, even if we just stopped right here, we have a few more cards to go, but even if we just stopped right here, this is a beautiful reading. This is about an internal transformation, Libra, that brings you to the seat of success. It's beautiful. The emperor, right? This whole process that you've gone through Empress to the Emperor. Maybe it's a soulmate situation you're dealing with. But you're showing up as the Emperor as well as the Empress. You are on point, Libra. On point. That's where the Tower card comes from, right? That Tower, that, that epiphany, that revelation that happened to you happened and I don't know what that is right I don't know what it is you could be just laying in bed one night and go aha this is it but I think it's going to be a little bit more painful than that or it has been a little bit more painful than that to lead you to this point right but it brings you to the empress and the emperor which goes back to the two of cups with the love card the lover's card I don't know something about this just feels like perhaps you're pursuing a soulmate right? Perhaps you have finally been procured to the point where you're ready for a soulmate, right? Because if we're not ready, spirit's not going to bring, and you can take this to the bank, spirit is not going to bring the soulmate for you that is forever and always supposed to be in your life, not saying a relationship, but they're not going to bring you a soulmate relationship and let you fuck it up. You are going to be held to the fire. You are going to be um, alchemied. Spirit is going to make gold out of nothing. Spirit is going to refine. That's the word I'm looking for. Spirit is going to refine you. Relationship after relationship after relationship many as it takes for you to learn your lesson. The lesson that is going to make you worthy of the soulmate that spirit is procuring on the other side. And there's no way in hell that they're going to procure, 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 create gold out of lead and hand it over to you and you're not ready and you're just going to fuck it up. It's not happening. It's not happening. So, that being said, that being said, you are ready. You have been refined by the fire, Libra. You have been refined by the fire. And you're ready for this emperor. This brings the four of wands. Structure, stability, control, foundation. Manifestation out of stagnation into your life. If we want to talk straight tarot, this is about harmony, happiness. In your home, in your relationships, marriage. Again, soulmate. A lot of people say this card is a soulmate card. To the Knight of Discs. It's been a long time coming. It's been a long time coming. The High Priestess. Remember, you were High Priestess in reverse. Look who you are now. You're the High Priestess upright now. Now you're in touch with your intuition. Now you're in touch with your subconscious mind. Now you know who you are. No more nine of swords. No more cruelty. No more staying up at night, rubbing your head, trying to find out how you are going to to handle things. This is about a card about conclusion, fruition, attainment, right? You did this. You did this. You brought it to fruition through some serious personal refinement. Queen of Pentacles. Security abounds. Security abounds for you. This is grounded this is safe, secure, like I said. 
This is somebody who uses, who uses, who's careful and vigilant, right? This represents, I think, the energy of this completion card right here, right? Of completion. It, the card is called Cruelty, right? Because it's the Nine of Swords and it's cruel up in your head. But it's also about fruition and attainment and completion, right? And this is the representation of attainment, the attainment of security to the alchemist. Just gave you all the big lecture about manifestation, right? This alchemist is your manifestation of this entire situation. It's all of the ins and outs and the little threads and the little pieces that you have gone through and fixed and trimmed off and sewn into the fabric of this situation. This is the manifestation of all of this work we've been talking about right here. Calls a truce. A truce. This truce, Libra, is between you and spirit. This truce is between you and spirit. Spirit now says, Okay, Libra, you've done what has needed to be done. You have released your limiting beliefs. You have released yourself from an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth, which is your personal belief system or was your personal belief system. You've reevaluated everything, and now you know beyond a shadow of a doubt. You know that you cannot be true to yourself. You cannot be true to anybody unless you're true to yourself. Be true to yourself first, and then you can be true to other people. This was your lesson. I'm going to call this video that. This is your lesson, Libra. You cannot be true to anyone until you can be true to yourself. This is the truce between you and the universe. And guess what you get the star hope faith purpose renewal and spirituality libra spirituality i think is a super important thing here spirituality doesn't care what other people think spirituality is not ruled by the expectations of the physical spirituality will set you free and that's the truth, Libra. Be true to yourself. If you're not true to yourself, you can't be true to anybody else. Namaste.